State DOT committed to additional signs to warn of the low bridge over Onondaga Lake Parkway. It was in an interview with us here on News Channel 9. Tonight, what kind of signs would a professional driver like to see them put up? He's one of the many people who did reach out with their own solutions, but his experience gives him some pretty good insight. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live along the parkway. Um, Andrew, what does the driver say he needs to see when he's driving along the parkway? Christy, he's okay with the additional signage, but he wants the signs to be simpler, more clear, easy to read, and just portray a simpler message. For example, he doesn't like this sign. We're in front of Hyde's right now. He calls this a dissertation sign, meaning there's too many words on it. Commercial vehicles, vehicles over 10-9 high, alternate route to Syracuse. He says it should be simpler, fewer words. He says it shouldn't have the word alternate. It should be the only route to Syracuse. And he, in general, wants to see all the signs, more than 40 in both directions, have fewer words. In one case, no words. That there's a sign missing. That's the sign that's missing on the park. And there should be several of them. And they should start way back to where they first talk about that no trucks are allowed on the parkway. People with reading disabilities do not understand the language that says no commercial vehicles. But this, they know what it is. There it is again. I have a print off of the sign he would like to see. He would like many of these on both ends of the parkway before the bridge, after the bridge. He says this is more universal, easier to understand. No words, no reading. And he's got a lot more ideas. We'll hear more of his strategies that he wants the DOT to consider coming up at 6. Live in the village of Liverpool, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.